Hey guys, uh, welcome to your You versus All Tall Signs reading. This is going to be for Leo for October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So first, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in October. And then we'll finish off to read with You versus All Tall Signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Uh, the uh, Tall Signs portion is not time stamps because these are really quick messages. It's not worth time stamping. If you guys want to do it for me, you can feel free to do so. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there. I do also go live on my Instagram page. Um, so make sure you are uh, following me on there. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, and, and TikTok. The links for those are in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Leo. Leo for October 2023. What's going on with Leo for October 2023? What's surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for October 2023 for Leo? Tell me about Leo here. What's going on with Leo? Send the wands. At this time, I feel like you're really guarded. Or that you're standing up for yourself or that you're trying to defend yourself here. You know, there is something here that, you know, I feel like you might be moving on from because I feel like this is something that you don't want to fight for anymore. Okay, some guys could be physically moving away to a different location here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah. Uh, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, some of you guys could be looking for a new job or something like that. Yeah, some of you guys could be looking for a new job. Uh, you know, you guys are on Indeed, LinkedIn, whatever, like, job search engine websites are out there. You definitely are looking for new opportunities. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like some of you guys could be questioning a lot of things right now, okay? Uh, questioning your friend group, questioning your life. I do feel like there's a sense of wanting to pursue your life's purpose here. You know, helping others, being of service to others. You know, being some sort of community leader. You know, kind of like, you know, kind of like vouching for, you know, uh, certain groups of people that are, you know, not very fortunate or people that, you know, are homeless, you know, uh, that deal with drugs or something like that. But whatever this is, I, I do get, get the sense that you are searching for your life's purpose here or that you might be stepping into that type of work here at this time, Leo. Okay, what else do we have here for Leo? The Sun, the Wands and the Three of Wands here, the Six of Swords. And the Empress here, Libra, Taurus energy. This is you right here. It seems like you're finding your purpose in life here, Leo. Yeah, there's a sense of moving towards the future here. Whatever has go gone on here for you, you're definitely experiencing a lot of growth and expansion. Okay, or I mean, maybe you're stepping into this work or that maybe you're doing this work already. Maybe you're feeling like, you know, People come to you, people come to you, people look up to you, you know, so I do feel like, you know, there's a sense of being some sort of leader here, you know, some of you guys might be politicians or something like that. Yeah, I, I do get the sense that you're doing things for the people here. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Knight of Pentacles here, and the Three of Swords. Gemini, Virgo, seems like you're definitely in this energy of manifesting and attracting here. Look at the Three of Swords. Some of you guys have overcame a lot, especially hurt and pain here. You know, I, I get the sense that whatever you're doing here, you're definitely relating to people. You're empathizing with people. You're connecting with people on a deep level here. Like, I feel like you understand this person's pain. Does that make sense? Yeah, you understand. You understand these people's pains. You know, you kind of like get it, you know. So I feel like you're able to help these individuals here. Three of Cups. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the star card here, and the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Seems like you're going through a huge spiritual awakening. Perhaps you're realizing that, you know, this is your path. This is what you're meant to do here. 
being of service to others, helping others, being generous with others. Some of you guys might do charity work or work in nonprofit organizations or something like that. Um, let's see. Or that you guys volunteer. Yeah, you guys donate a lot. Um, let's see. Aries, uh, tell me about Leo versus all 12 signs. Leo versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. All right, tell me about Ari uh, Leo versus all 12 signs. All right, Leo versus an Aries here. We have the Two of Swords here and the King of Pentacles. Um, this person is confused to what they want with you. It seems like this person goes back and forth. I'm getting the sense that this person is confusing you. You're getting whiplash here. Okay, uh, Aries versus, uh, not Leo versus uh, a Taurus. We have the Five of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person regrets walking away from you, uh, 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 Leo. Yeah, this Taurus regrets walking away from you. Uh, Leo versus a Gemini with the Three of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles. Um, this person is juggling with other people. Yeah, um, you know, I feel like this person is definitely keeping their options open here. Okay, Leo versus a Gemini. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo, and the Six of Cups. This person is missing you a lot, and I feel like this person is definitely trying to manifest this relationship back. All right, uh, Leo versus uh, a Leo. No, Leo versus a Cancer. Uh, the Fool card here and the Five of Swords. Whoever this is, this is an individual that plays a lot of games. Yeah, uh, this person is definitely non-committal. If you're looking for commitment from this Cancer here, Leo, you're definitely not going to get it. The games will continue. Okay, um, Leo versus a Leo. We have the World card and the Six of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this Leo has unfinished business here with you. Yeah, you might you 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 might even feel like you have unfinished business with this person, but there's a sense of wanting to, you know, uh, come back around and and speak to this person. Uh, that this person wants to speak to you or something like that. Uh, Leo versus a Virgo with the Five of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Um, this person's feeling lonely without you. Yeah, they're very they're feeling very lonely without you. All right, Leo versus a Libra here. We have the Empress here and the Justice card. Um, whoever this is, this is an individual that's seen you very highly here, okay? I feel like this person sees you as their other half, and they feel like this person sees growth and expansion here with you, okay? Sees prosperity here with you. Uh, Leo versus a Scorpio here, the Ace of Swords here, and the Four of Wands. This person wants to tell you some sort of truth or that this person's having a breakthrough or a realization that they're meant to be with you, all right? Leo versus a Sagittarius with the Four of Swords here and the Hermit. This person's completely distanced themselves from you. Yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure why, but I feel like this person's like maybe scared. Yeah, seems like this person's really guarded or something like that. Uh, Leo versus a Capricorn here with the Three of Wands here and the Six of Wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's yearning for you, missing you here. I do feel like they are hurting over this, but at the same time, they're also pretending like they're okay, they're fine. Okay, Leo versus Aquarius. We have the High Priestess here and the Seven of Swords. This person has secrets. This person has secrets. I feel like this person has been lying to you about something here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this person is lying to you about, but, you know, I get the feeling that you might be feeling like this person hasn't really been truly honest here with you. Uh, Leo versus a Pisces here with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I don't know why I'm reading out the signs here. This Pisces here wants to put an effort here to work things out here with you or something like that. Okay, whoever this is, I do feel like this also this person is in love with you, but... At the same time, they might be distracting themselves from you or something like that. But I, yeah, this person's in love with you, but this person does want to put an effort into this connection, but this person might be a little scared or skittish, okay? So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.